The singles are meant to dedicate their life for the service of God and they are meant to use that period of singleness to discover the will and the purpose of God for their lives, both male and female. Because uh, the scripture says that uh, the unmarried cares for the things of God, that he may please God, but the married cares for the things of the world, that he may please his spouses. So <laughs> we discover that the time of singleness is a beautiful time. So many factors can contribute to someone being single. Uh, we have some singles who have never been married in life. We have some singles who were once married, but the, uh, along the line, the, 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 they remain single. We have some singles who lost their spouses. You know, the scripture says if you leave a particular marriage, you should remain unmarried until you are able to seek reconciliation. So singleness is a beautiful time, God, a time that God uses to mold us to make sure that we are able to know his will and purpose for us, to be able to discover our value, our, our intelligence, and our, our vision and purpose in life. So uh, at that time is, is a good time, but we live in a society whereby singleness is seen as a curse and a whole lot of people believe that oh when you're single you're not perfect you're not complete unfortunately marriage does not complete anybody marriage does not make anybody perfect you understand so we all have to make a discrepancy between the two and uh, when it comes to happiness you no know, happiness is a state of being happy it's an expression of joy you understand you chose to be happy you may be married and you're not happy you understand so a uh, singleness is a beautiful time you pray you go for evangelism you go for outreaches you you have time to fast since you're not staying with anyone you're not having intimacy with anyone at that time you are able to discover the purpose of God for your life. So singleness is a beautiful time and people can decide to remain single for a long period of time while some can decide to, 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 to shorten their time of singleness. Some people can decide to remain single even though they are in union with somebody. They just created a particular time for themselves to seek the face of God. So let us all know. And uh, I want to believe that uh, a whole lot of people talked about uh, singleness as a state of uh, being unhappy, which is which is wrong. You understand? Many people believe that, oh, how can single stay without, uh, without uh, sexual intercourse? Uh, unfortunately, sexual intercourse is for the married. It's meant for the married people, not for the single. It has its own spiritual implication, physical implication, etc. So I, I want to believe that the self-control is a requirement for a good living. When you have self-control, it means you have a self that must be controlled. You have a, 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 a life, you have a, a flesh, the, 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 the um, request or the urge of the body that must be controlled. Because anyone who has not, uh, uh, you know, learnt or grow or build himself to be able to control himself, even when you are in union with somebody, it will still not save you from immorality. Why? Because you have not molded yourself. Because we want to believe that, oh, if marriage will kill lust, then adultery will not exist at all. A whole lot of people that are into immorality these days are even married people. Married women, they are more immoral than the singles. Yes, because a whole lot of them have different excuses to jump out of their husband. And you know that many people, when they were single, they were not celebrating. A whole lot of singles don't celebrate. As much as they were single, they sleep around. And the, 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 the unfortunate situation is that as much as you are sleeping around, it is those people you are sleeping with when you're single that will, that will not allow your marriage to stand. Because by the time you now get to that man, you now start comparing and contrasting. That's why many cases of adultery can be you know, traced to ex. Ex-boyfriend, ex-woman friend, ex-man friend, ex-girlfriend. And so... But when you were together, assuming you have not been involved in immorality, then the bonding that you have created wouldn't have been there. And a whole lot of people, when they meet with themselves, instead of them to show the person how brilliant they are, the value in them, so that that person will grow and, 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 and fall in love with your intelligence, your strength, your value, every good thing you have. The person you have not giving the person time to see the value in you. You start sleeping together, you start making love. The person will not bond with you mentally, emotionally. He will only bond with you in the flesh. He will bond with you in the flesh. It's only when he wants to have intercourse that he will remember you. He's not remembering you for the good things or the values that you have. He will be remembering you 
once he needs to just have connection or sex with you alone. So you have to come to a stage whereby you ex exercise self-control and you allow somebody to see the value in you first and fall in love with your value. You understand? That's why a whole lot of people, even in that marriage, they are seeking the face of their spouses. You understand? Many, you see many women that they just bear the name wife. Those ones that are not bearing wife for the man are getting the attention of that man because it is not about who the, the man's wife, wife is. It is all about who is it that the man gives his attention to. The person that the man gives his attention, his time, his value, and spends quality time with is the person that actually owns the man. So most of the time, the man will just give the woman tied to, oh, you are my wife, stay in one corner. So being a wife does not mean that you are the one that have the full, the, the full attention of the man. So those things that will make him to have, make you to have his full attention are those things that you should first to build, like value, like uh, intelligence, like uh, probably uh, the kind of work you do, the kind of value you create in your environment, in your society, let a man fall in love with that first. If your career is a kind of career that the man does not like people in that line of career, let him go in peace. But if he likes people that do what you're doing, let him fall in love with your personality first. Let him fall in love with your work, your intelligence, your value, Things that you that that you you do, let him like it first. If he doesn't like you, doesn't like what you do, let him go in peace. But the mistake people make is that once they see a man, they quickly sleep with him. Unfortunately, the man has not bond with you emotionally. A man can do sex anywhere, anyhow, with anybody if the man is not born again. You understand? So when you bond with intercourse don't forget that all these hormones that we have we have learned oxytocin dopamine and dopamine, all of these hormones they they create bond and that bond does not is not equivalent to love that's the reason why you see a man you will see somebody who is making uh, who is industrious who is making it in life making impact he quickly fall in love with that person with what the person is doing, he wants to support her, he wants to make her grow. But you that you are sleeping with him, you, you discover that he's not loving you, he's only, he's only looking for you the time he wants to have sex alone. That's why we are saying, don't allow anybody to, to tell you that singleness is, is bad. Singleness is not bad. It's a time for you to grow. All these people shouting all, all around, eh, nobody is happy being single. Shut up your mouth. If you are not happy being single, you can never be happy being married. Go and find your happiness, find solace in God. Yes. Be happy with yourself. Be happy with, you see, it is low self-esteem and uh, inferiority complex. That normally makes some people to say, oh, they can't live without a man. Some of them, they are, they are, they are nymphos. A whole lot of these women, they are nymphomanians. That's the reason why they wonder how singles are able to live without sex. You understand? A whole lot of singles are even wondering how you people are able to live with somebody because some, of, some people love their privacy. They love their privacy so much that you relating with somebody, they see it as an intruder or something that is disturbing their privacy. You understand? There is no lifestyle, lifestyle that does not give glory to God as long as you are living for the law. Ma there are people who are married that they are even doing morality. Their life is not pleasing unto God. That's why we are saying develop quality relationship with God. Let your spiritual life be sound. If you are the type that you cannot live without sex, you are in trouble. Marriage will not save you from immorality. Bible says you shall call his name Jesus because he has saved his people from their sin. It's only Christ that can save you, not another person, not another human being. When you are the type that cannot live without, without, without sex, you can't live without a man sleeping with you, one single man cannot even satisfy your urge. Because the moment the man travels, you start looking for other people if you are not saved already. So let us all find solace in God. If you need to stay away and separate yourself for some time for you to be able to discover all of these things, please do. But don't ever sit down and think that, oh, singleness is a curse. You don't want to live it. That's the reason why a whole lot of you, you are being beaten blue back. You are black. You are being battered. You are being terrified. You are being, you know, uh, 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 you are being frustrated. And yet you still stay. Because of low self-esteem, you can't imagine yourself living without 
relating with a man without sleeping, having sex with a man, you are already in trouble. You understand? There are people who live their life that they have never tasted sex in life, and God is helping them. We understand the uh, the medical, or let me say the scientific implication, but it, it, we cannot gratify the hurt the wrong way. If science says that, oh, if you do sex, you will have all these benefits, you have all these health benefits, it doesn't mean that you should go and gratify it the wrong way. Oh, if you eat apple, you eat banana, you eat fruit, it will give you vitamins. You understand? It doesn't mean you should go and steal it from those that are selling it. So yeah, if I eat apple, I will have potassium, I will have... Um, um, uh, magnesium, I will have other nutrients from it, so let me go and steal it so that I will eat. No, you must acquire it legitimately. The fact that sex has its own, uh, you know, uh, uh, scientific health, uh, health benefits, it has its own uh, spiritual benefits, etc., does not mean you should gratify the hurt the wrong way. Those are the ones. Those are living without a man. You can live without a man. Forget about it. Man can live without a woman. He's not forever. The, the, that time that you are alone, you are doing the will of God. You are building yourself. You are building your career. You are building your even spiritual life. But when you allow somebody, you see a whole lot of single mothers. This is the reason why they fall into wrong gangs. They create an impression. Unfortunately, it is all of these men that are irresponsible. They are the ones that are not responsible. More fair conche, more niya wo fair or boni one fair. But niya then it creates impression where they live lies you want. That is the reason why they are taking advantage of you. I'm telling you. If you see a whole lot of single mothers in DM, a lady who wants to buy one, some buy one, some buy one, some. Ojo ta onba ni jo oni o fair one. Ojo eni oni gbe ko mo. Oni gbe ko liye mo because oni e fair. He's only taking advantage of you because one or two believe you pay life so you only o legbe li aye. That is the reason why oh mama aka e mo le. Imagine a man coming into the house that you rented. He will sleep with you several times. He will be going. He will give you five hundred. He will give your children one thousand naira. That is you or the man, the man is, is ridiculing you, he's ridiculous because no bag be a lost hotel. She one era, no master, no hotel. Kill it and fear any, you let and fear any only. Sex is for the married people and it is clear, it is crystal clear. If you are not there, wait on the Lord. Self control is a requirement for a good living. Don't allow anybody to bully you because you are single. If I want to. One day I will come and analyze all these married people for you. When I analyze them, anybody to ba to ba ni one is single mother. Oh, ni oko wo oroto ma sosi gan wo ma sunku kuro mbeni. I'm telling you, because all these married people na de na na then sad pass sadness. They say a year lo me kosheko. The people that have problem in their homes. I want a man fear a woman before kobu a woman like a jimon. When you see a woman that have peace in her home as a married woman. She will never pressurize you to go and marry because she knows that happiness is, is happiness is something that that it is God that gives it. He, she knows that it is not a human being because only a young year, or them are all on long funya, who they ever pressurize ye. But I want to only ban, oh, Jay, talk on by ye, one jet on no one, don't know one blue black, don't fetch ye, your drew one. I want no man, no man disturb one, we do, I want single mother, I want to see the way, like a girl, like a young girl, one guy, no let on one, and go no more. He let on bang, and go no more, one more one. I want on near Joe, I want no man pressurize your wing, your yoku. When you see somebody who has peace, he will never disturb you. That is why we are saying, seek refuge in God. Find a place. At times, God, God normally make things to happen because he wants us to come to him. God will make two people to be separated for some time, for them to learn, for them to know the value. Allah, we be away in your knee, ah, my life for a long man, Allah, Tony, if you leave yourself, there are fear and you Emma, fear ya wo, Emma, fear or corny time ye. A seek reconciliation. But before you know it, when people separate today, they find another person. When they separate, they find another Instead, they seek reconciliation. Another person. No, mama, wa Or, you know, Jackie or on your own, you need to marry. The Bible says if you leave marriage, you should remain unmarried. That's what the scripture says. Afitan, it all feel like you so please, let us find solace in God. Let us see singleness as a way that God... As a way.
that God is, is, is using to draw us to him. Even apart from that, there are some issues and challenges that we can have in life that God wants to use it to, to, to correct us, to draw us back to him. Situations and, and circumstances in life should make us, to draw us more to God. Any, any, any challenges that does not make you a better person in the spiritual aspect of your life, you are not making positive use of that challenges. You understand? Any issue that draws you more to God, any challenges that draws you more to the presence of God, is a good one that you should desire. We are not saying, oh, go and sit down and be praying that God should bring problems. But when challenges come like that, we should take advantage of that time to become, to, to, to get closer to God. You understand? So, rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. I want to say, I want to say, I say, morality. What of those who have lost their spouses for, for so many years and they refuse to remarry? So the fact that you, you cannot live, oh, they live for a year like Doko, in your mi pe bobo in your loan Doko kiri adubo. The fact that we pe obo ni wang fe kiri, o mi pe bobo in your loan fe bo kiri adubo, i shoro obe si a ye ti e de ni nye. Yes. Mba to ba ti ba ye ala e jeto ti do gwa dra wo Doko ko ba pa sa sun gan. Mba te yon ti o fi o ba de, e mi lo fe kula re, to fe gba do. Benny, you come back here. Jenny, you to take up to your taxi. To 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 up to go 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 to do go na go. You go na lo ni man anti go go. I want to do rani to do your shame morality. You go na lo ni man anti want. You go lo fair concentrate. Lori and ito wa kuku wa fair. Ito for wo fair. Ito fair la fair tan. Ke koshi danu. If you are not happy as a person, go and find happiness in God first. Because tino e obadu ibanu jana lo kubanu bisi aye and ito balo wa no li aye re. Be proud of who you are. Be proud of your situations and circumstances. And don't ever think it is somebody that will solve your problem for you. I'm telling you, when you don't have value to add to the life of somebody, the person will just run a reasonable person. Oh, no, I can't do it. 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 Go and find solace in God and be happy in whatever situation you have. Go back to God. Go and remote, rebuild your relationship with God. Benny. Because I want to believe that there is more to when you're making fair and you pay the one door and one now. There is more to it. We understand the place of bonding, the place of physical intimacy, intercourse, love making, etc. We understand that place according to studies, according to people who are enlightening us about it. But that should not be the only thing. To ba di opo ni kan, lo fe ofa okun ni. So fi upo okun ni ye, ise ju me lo lo, o jam me lo ma lo pe lo e. You don't have anything to offer. You don't have any value to add. E lo me atun ko bukata ajo. Ama ni, unwe ni kan ti opo unbo bukata o. Okun ni ora ye bo bo nye. Go and face your work, face your God, pray, and, and, and develop self-control. Yes, you can live without without having sex with anybody and you will have peace. I want to see what I want to see what I want to see. Because I want any to see what I want to see. I want to use moko. I want to use moko to see the man. I want to see the man. I want to see the man. I want to see the man. So those ones, you know, Paul said, I want to spare you of the daily problem that the married used to have. That's why I said you should be like me. That's what Paul says, said. People who day to day uh, problem, time, want to want in union money, on first peer, wa, don't you need to be a way bet? If you cannot be like me, go and marry. You understand? We understand that there are some stipulated time in our life that, oh, I decide to be single till this time. And when I'm ready, I will go for union. But that time, make a judicious use of the time. Be you single mother or widow or whatever. Man, no condition. You let him sleep around. Let him mess around. Man, you can't come so far. We pay to but lock on in a life where you are you are inferior. Any young girl who is inferior, I'm telling you, on girl who is inferior, on low is low self esteem. Only okay. And Bible says we are complete in Christ. We are complete in Christ. We understand the place of two people better than one. You understand, but it is two good head, two good people that are better than one. You cannot go and pick a lunatic on the streets. Call over fish a cage. You better tell me what you're up to. 
And it is not everybody that is wearing rags and is roaming the streets that is lunatic. Some lunatic are actually putting on clothes, very ironed one, and they are lunatic. Their head is not correct. They are not perfect upstairs. Their spiritual life is zero. Their level of reasoning is zero. They don't have any value to add. Please find solace in God and it shall be well with you. Thank you, guys. So just make sure that as a single, you're not idle. Uh, idleness is, is a state of doing nothing. You know, uh, there's an adage that says that an, an idle hand is the, is the workshop of the devil. Make sure you're busy. You can't be idle. You cannot find something to do. Keep yourself busy for the Lord. Keep yourself busy in all that daily activity. Sell things. Look around. Pray that God Almighty should give you vision. Look around to look at, to know the needs of people around you. Probably the things that people can need. Maybe food or items or provisions that you know that people can buy. Buy and sell. Go to work. Keep yourself busy. Do you know that even when you're working, right there in that office, you are fulfilling the call of God. A, a, a soldier or a policeman or a first man that is doing his work diligently and is not going against the will of God, right there in his office, he or she is fulfilling the will of God. He or she is doing the work of God. Yes, as long as he's doing it with the fear of God. So please, you can't be idle. All of these things are, are only possible for somebody who is busy. When you wake up in the morning, you work you're busy. You already have a timetable for the day. You don't even have time to think of frivolous things, to think of things that are unprofitable. You understand? The only thing we detest is idleness. Please don't be idle. Find something to do. Keep yourself busy. You can go back to school. You will think you, 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 you're the type that love uh, academics. You can go back to school. You can learn a skill. You can start a business. You, you, you just think of what to do. You understand? This era we have is, a era, is an era that, you see, you can make profit from things. You sell things. You meet people. You, 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 you do business, and it, it helps you to interact. When you make money, you grow. You'll be able to give to the Lord. You'll be able to show you know, uh, 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 you know, a kindness to people. You're not even thinking of, you're growing. You're growing in the spirit. You're growing in the Lord. So uh, hardly will you sit down and start bothering yourself about immoral things. And when it is time for you to, oh, let me take another step ahead. You have already added value to yourself and God is helping you. Uh, that is how uh, it, it, it should be. Please, don't let us be idle. Let us find something to do. We are the type that, well, that thing that you know how to do very well. No, Bible says whatever things, whatever your hands finds doing, do it with all your mind. So please. Uh, let's find something to do and don't let us be idle. Even if you're in union with anyone and you're jobless, everybody knows what liability means these days. So there's no need of making repetition on that. So please, let us find something to do.